Hello, this is Ninja Zombie Zero, and today this is just an interlude video between session one and session two. This is recorded, being recorded on December 22nd, 2017, a week after the first session, and I'm recording this and a second interlude on the same day. Um, this is just to show a few things off between um, that I will have done between sessions. Um, I marked areas on the map where I plan to expand it's as of this session it's a bit too early because we're barely science wise we're barely going to cave dwelling and as soon as this loads we're barely here at cave dwelling tribalism is way over here four eight detects away but I might as well plan since we have a lot of resources that we can gather in the future my expansion plans is more or less going south from where my capital is. I might better pronounce that. Mainly because we have. Let me turn this on. Because we have these two natural wonders. They give some. They give bonuses if you settle near them. So my final city for this sudden expansion would be to settle here. We'd have Sugarloaf Mountain and Mount Sinai, which give trade routes, bonuses, culture. Actually, Mount Sinai will give 10 culture if I wrote it down correctly on my notepad that I'm looking at. So, pretty much all these cities that are all these mark black markers, I definitely panic building, including up here, because this will. This will stop the Dutch civilization, which we know is here, from expanding to where we're at, because it doesn't have that many places to expand, just north, and so this will be a little choke point. I don't plan on expanding eastward that much. I mean, there's indigo here, there's some resin, which I believe there's some that, do I know there isn't? I mean, I plan on expanding eastward at least to get this resin, and that's we know Inca's. We know the business teams over here, so I mark this. Who knows what's over here? But and we know the Spanish is over here, and this is pretty much what we don't know. Oh, there is a cell over here. They would notice that. I don't know which sieve, but we know Spain has a neighbor. That's good to know. Um, city-wise, let's turn off bear. Uh, um, city-wise, we're barely getting the alpha female. I can go over properties now that it's been a while. Um, this is all new to um, came into Cosmos. It's most of this stuff won't matter as of now. Um, disease and possibly crime in the future. If I go over to special, um, disease will generally spawn unhealth, some unhappiness. Right now we just have one, which is the common code, um, which gives one unhealth. It's would it be affecting us if we didn't get that event earlier that gave us two on two health, so we can finally expand. Even though I could be working that, but I want the hammers. Um, the creatures that we caught get turned into myths. There are other buildings that these subdued animals can build, but right now it's too early to build them, so I turned them into myths, which give science and Way later in the game, when we get to writing these, we'll turn into culture bonuses. We have our group culture, which is Asian, which is giving us culture, and our native culture, which. Our native culture for being a human race, and our native culture for being part of a group, a cultural group. There are five, I believe, or six Asian, European, uh, Actually, let me not embarrass myself with that. Let me look at the Zillopedia. But there's 
different group cultures and right now it just at this point it just acts as a cultural bonus it's too early to talk about cultures but there are a lot of cultures like Akka, Afghanistan, American and these all require a cultural group like this one requires North American uh, if I were to look at Argentinian, South American, the part of Asian, um, Dutch, the Dutch civilization, civilization is part of the European, Spanish is part of European, this one that we don't know about, we don't know what culture part of it is, but, but strangely enough, Byzantine is part of Middle East, Middle Eastern culture. So I definitely want to capture these capitals um, once it's possible. Right now it's not because, well, we've seen the last session where most of our most of our units got devoured by the wildlife. We just have spearmen here, and we don't have the hunter, unfortunately. But oh well. So if RNG happens and gives and receives and all that. We do have resources. We have obsidian, which will be useful later. Um, obsidian working, I believe, for obsidian weapons. Because these require obsidian, unlike some, unlike these stone ones, these stone axe, these um, stone axe men, um, and other stone units. These require obsidian because we have that and we'll have this stone. It'll be useful for attacking future sibs. And going back to properties, crime won't be an issue right now or education. Education is part of here. Um, it's a double-edged sword, like, right now we're intuitive, we get some more production bonuses, but the city takes longer to grow, and the opposite would happen if we were at negative education, um, we would get production penalties, but the city would grow faster, strangely enough. Um, homes will be an issue later. Right now we're homeless because we are barely learning how to take shelter. Uh, that's pretty much it. We got the palace. Um, Wonder-wise, we can build the captured fire. Um, this will give us a golden age. It'll allow us to restructure our civics, but I tend to save this for once we get close to uh, tribalism so I can switch uh, civics. We can also build this, but these expire at the start of the ancient era. That's pretty much it. We're expanding. We pretty much have no choice because the tigers, the bears that are probably roaming most aware in, this, in the south of us. That's pretty much it. This is just uh, this is just an analyzing between sessions um, since I tend not to use the Twitch to chat that much. Unless there's people there. So this is pretty much it for this for this interlude. Next episode will be the start of session two, and I'm not sure if if in future interludes I will be talking or if I'm just gonna use my notepad which I have right here to chat to talk in my place. That's pretty much it. There's not that much to analyze. I'm just making this just to show where I'm going to expand later on in the fu way, way future. That's pretty much it. I'm sort of surprised I didn't catch that between this session and Artist World at next, um, session 2, but I uh, will definitely take note of this. But this is me, Ninja Zombie Zero. Next episode will be session 2, and see ya.